Hello everyone, let's look at classes today. So we'll be looking at classes today. So class is really a template uh, for an object that we want to describe. An object can be anything that we want to code up that or we can code up. Uh, so classes are really essential for modularity and you know, for maintenance of the code because when the projects get larger and larger, uh, we, we definitely want to use classes and functions in a way that we can break up the code into multiple files. Ideally, a file should have 100 to 200 lines of code. And it's always, it, sometimes it's difficult uh, to have only 100 to 200 lines of code in one file, uh, but it's it's really useful to break up the code that way uh, for further development as because otherwise in one file, it becomes very difficult to, uh, to manage the code. So let's start with the class. So we define the class by using the reserved keyword called class with a small c uh, and say, let's say we want to have, we want to define a class person. Okay. Uh, so then we follow that person by object in parenthesis. So this is, this is exactly written. Uh, you have to write the, or define the class exactly like this using the class keyword. Now person can be anything, uh, depends on whatever name you would want to give. Uh, and then once we define it, let's initialize the class by typing def, which says def is basically a function and in it. So this is also a resolved keyword in Python. So we proceed in it by two underscores. So these are underscores, proceed in it by two underscores. And after in it, we put two more underscores. Uh, and we open the bracket or parenthesis, say self, and then we just say, for now, let's say print person initialized. Okay. So this starts off with a class and the way to call it in our main code would be class person. So if we type this and run this, it says person, person initialized. Okay. Oh, sorry, not safe. Right, so if I type in per person initialize two, then it will say person initialize two. So uh, init is really the entry point to this class and we can have a variable say 12 and we can also define, so in the constructor, which is given by this init, two underscores init and then two underscores. If you have a variable X and we say self, so self dot say age is equal to x so now that means that this person will have the age x uh, so 12 and we can say all right now say for i'm removing the person initialized line in the constructor and then i want to just print out the age of the person so print p dot h okay so you can see that we can print this age uh, it comes so inside the class so we are able to access uh, the age of this person where age is the member of the class okay so this variable is now attached to this person uh, we can have a we can also have a q person which is say 14 and we can say q dot h so you can see that this this particular variable age uh, it binds itself to this person class uh, now this is now let's say uh, in terms of terminology the class is is a person okay and in the main code or the driver function uh, this person is an object okay so the so when we instantiate the class uh, in the program it we call it an object and it's not really very strict terminology, but you know that's how that's how it's defined in a in a lot of places. Or um, that's that's how this object-oriented programming is. Uh, a lot of tutorials use these kind of terms. So the object and person are uh, sort of the the template is the is the class, and then the object is is when it is used is when that class is used in the program. Okay, so now we can do stuff with this uh, with this age. Say for example we want to increment so def increment age okay, and we type self when we type self that binds it to this class okay so we can call this function 
by using this dot operator so we can say that self dot age plus is equal to one and we can print the age after that so we can say p dot increment age and then print so we increment the age for p but we don't increment the age for q so q should still be 14 but p should be 13 and you can see that that's how it, it works okay uh, we can also have various various types of uh, of parameters that the uh, class takes in so you can say cell dot name is equal to y and uh, now we have to give a name so let's say name is a and for b let's call this name is b uh, so along with the name we can just put p dot sorry name okay so so there we see that the p's age is 13 and name is a uh, okay so that so that's how classes work uh, let's look at splitting up the class into different files and then we'll come back to some geometric examples okay uh, to save uh, we have to save the file uh, let's say five so let's say class uh, main okay dot pi this is our main class and then we create another file called let's call this second file person person.py and we copy this and we paste it in the person class so now we can say import person so from we can say from person import person okay and everything still works exactly